Well, ladies and gentlemen, the Maryland's close call saga continues. But like I said earlier, we're hunting three times a day. We just came out real quick. It's been about an hour. We got some food, took a couple layers off. This is gonna warm up today. We're gonna head back out for this midday movement. We're gonna sit midday the same spot. I really like that as a midday spot. I don't know where we're gonna go for the evening yet, but as of right now, fingers are crossed that the warmer weather that's rolling in today, tomorrow, and following doesn't shut down the daylight movement. Hopefully we still see some deer. Uh, mornings will always be good because they're nice and cool, but those middays and those evenings, uh, I guess we'll see, huh? If you got water, get over the water, but let's head back out. Meh. to go off of is what I saw and it looked like you hit him. I hit, it looked like I hit him in the... Hit him forward. Yeah, I did. You hit him with the perfect height though. It was, it was super awkward too because like, I don't have like the holes so I'm like, okay, I'm trying to like crouch down enough. Oh my god. I only got him as he jumped the fence. Yeah. Alright, what time is it? 5.43. So 5.43 we hit this deer. He donkey kicked, right? You saw him kick? Kicked. Yeah. Can I shoot him? Yeah. <laughs> I thought I wasn't going to be able to get it off the thing in time. When he started running, I was like, I have to, man. I mean, I have no choice. He's going to run into the woods. <laughs> I think maybe we follow it for a second to see if we can find your arrow, see how far the arrow went in. Because it wasn't in when he jumped the fence. Oh, it wasn't? No. So when he jumped the fence. Yep. See those birch it... trees? Over there, right? No, no, no. Way These? over. Yep. Right there. Oh, I thought I saw him jump over there. It could have been another deer when he was running. Sure. Yeah. All right. Well, it's unfortunate that it's up in the air. Like, it's questionable on what to do here. It's always the worst position to be in. If it is in the neck where we think it is, I think it's a dead deer. Okay. But there's just no way to tell when you don't get it on video. I guess we have to do it old school style. You he's get to dead. experience your first year like he's I have dead. to. I know he's dead. Or at least dying. <laughs> Hopefully we get up there. The Hopefully we get up there in like more than this much of the arrow. Because if this is it, it's probably a shoulder hit and he's gonna live. Mm. So we're hoping, you know, somewhere in here. Okay. Okay. 
and we're gonna get down, pull up the arrow, back out, wait till whoever wants to come help us looks comes, and uh, it's super difficult when you're just going off of memory, like so many of you probably do, you know, not filming hunts, you just gotta, what you saw, and it's like, I'm already like, did he donkey kick? I think he did, I don't remember, <laughs> it's just like, it makes it so difficult, but of course, this close call saga it couldn't have been easy it couldn't have <laughs> we couldn't have just saw it fall or anything nope. you know i mean maybe he jumped that fence maybe. and fell over but i mean you just don't know gotta work for that first one gotta work for the first one so fingers crossed but at least i'm in a position now after these years of shooting bucks and not finding them or whatever like if we start looking and we're not happy with what we see you know the dog will be coming tomorrow like that's that's where we're where I'm at. So hopefully we like what we see. Hopefully that arrow has a, a lot of penetration and we find some blood. And we'll be able to uh, get after this deer tonight. It'll be really really awesome. But you shot one though. That, I shot a that, buck, that's though. what matters. Awesome, awesome. A nice buck too. We're fairly certain it's the buck from this morning. It looked like him. It, it, it very really much did. Because he's got his brow tines are starting to split on the top, and when he looked at us, you could kind of see something at the top of them so so hopefully fingers crossed we like what we see here in a minute okay. it's right here look at that one there's the next one <laughs> so pine tree we've been given false hope with blood trails before but it looks really good there's chunks came out like it looks really promising for the little bit that we followed it the arrowhead has not fallen out yet so i bet it fell when he jumped it's promising it's um it's a lot more blood than i was expecting so i am very very hopeful i just want to get too ahead of myself you know First deer. I'll get ahead of myself. First I'm the deer. newbie. I'll get ahead of myself. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go back to the house. We're gonna wait for everyone else and then uh, we'll be out here in the dark finding a deer, hopefully. It got in there that far. All the way through? No, right there. Well, that's. I don't yeah, know. That's deep enough. He's that's, right there. It's a lot of cutting. Right there he is. I hope so. No, in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Walking right down this tree. <laughs> just going down, pressed up to the They're all over. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> More? Oh, yeah. One here, one oh, here. No, not this again. What? Oh. There's blood in the strip. We've been here before. Same thing my buck did. Not bad. Oh. Keep following it. See what happens. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, we are giving up for the night. We tracked probably, oh god. It's probably close to a mile at this point. We were all the way across the property, all the way back. So we've tracked a long ways. The blood thinned out. He laid down in a bed, and there's not a lot of blood in the bed either. We were, I was real hopeful with how much arrow got in there and where we hit it. I thought for sure we'd hit something important. But we're going to wait till tomorrow, and we'll probably bring a dog in and hopefully find him. Hey, it was a quick shot. Yeah. All right. Kind of expected it. Yep. I would definitely say, like, for the, the length you went, um, I just, in, in that area, yeah. it's live deer. 
100%. Got it. All right. No, no, 95%. Yeah, of course. There's all, yeah, exactly. Of course, of course. Um, so, sorry right. to hear that, man. That, no, uh, I mean, I'm glad that exactly what we experienced is what you were explaining and you think it's alive. Because when I saw that last bet, I, I thought it was alive too. So. Yeah. All right, appreciate the time, man. Yeah, no problem. If you need anything else, let me know. Will do. Have all a good right, one. Yeah. That makes me feel a lot better. Literally explained it exactly and immediately thought it was alive. I'm sorry, love. Happens. All right, quick update. One, Josh Johnson. I have his Facebook linked below. If you're in the northern Wisconsin area, go ahead and give him a shout if you need a dog. Um, Great resource. Very professional. Absolutely Love contacting him just to get some questions answered if you need them. Uh, great resource. Two, I have unitedbloodtrackers.org linked below, and you can click on any state wherever you're from, whether it's legal or not, uh, and then a list of people that are signed up on the website that you could reach out to for dog tracking as well. I highly suggest it. But I am talking to you today on November 1st because we got photos the deer is alive so here we are a few days later and that buck is back on the property hitting scrapes being normal and he's got a big wound on his neck so you know the the best worst news you can get you know it's never a good thing to wound an animal but the fact that he's still alive and kicking you know that's a positive so you know a couple of silver linings i always tried to find the optimistic things the silver linings find the positives in life there are like three. One, we learned our lessons. Marilyn is kicking herself in the butt for rushing the shot and not being patient and not practicing and she's kicking herself in the butt. So one, she learned a lesson and I mean, that ultimately that's the goal of beginner hunters. Two, the deer's alive and kicking so it could make for a great story if everyone remembers Jordan's buck from last year. He wounded a deer, a week later he shot it and it was definitely a monster and it made for an awesome story crazy so that buck is still alive and kicking he can either grow to another year or Marilyn can finish the story and get redemption soon the third thing Marilyn gets to keep hunting I love that I absolutely love hunting with my wife I love hunting with Marilyn and watching her learn and grow as we go through life so it's awesome that she gets to keep coming out and I keep following her with the camera so Super happy that that deer showed up on camera alive, and I'm super happy to get back in the woods. But this is where I'm going to end the episode. So, you know, it was a somber one. It kind of sucks. It won't be the last story like this for the year. I can guarantee you that. But the deer's alive, and Marilyn gets to keep hunting. So, without further ado, if you made it this far, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Give Marilyn some words of encouragement. And until next time, see you in the woods.